Today we are going to review the Coles catalogue and we're going to show how, how cheap it is to eat in a very healthy way. Well, um, I get the email from Coles and it actually tells me when they've got a new catalogue. Now, yes, they've only got three days to go for this catalogue and they send it out weekly. So I started opting in for this um, so I could find out what specials were on and not to get junk mail because I don't receive any junk mail anymore. I think they're really, uh, they've really stopped it anyway because I know in other friends that do uh, do not have no junk mail on their letterbox, they have they don't really get so much anymore because I think they find that it's just far more efficient to to just email people or contact people by other methods uh, rather than putting a large amount of resources in printing these brochures and sending them out. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go through the Coles catalogue and what I like about it is you can also click on it, order online, etc, etc. They have a... Um, it's called is it click and collect where you you order and then you go there at a particular time and collect it from one a store that actually has that service so that means that you don't do any mindless shopping as well but I enjoy mindless shopping and I actually enjoy the trip so we're going to go through the first thing we're going to do is go through the catalog and make sure well just go through the catalog and um, see you know what they have now this is not is this Vic? That's not my suburb, but that's okay. We'll just we'll just go with this one. That's absolutely fine. So you just click through. So let's look at what we can have from this page. <clears throat> nothing. Let's move on. Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, certainly not. No, no. Yes. Um, if you like some tea, go for it. There's something that you can have. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is getting really easy, isn't it? And these are all half price. So the food that we really shouldn't be having is um, it, it's half price. Now, you also want well, look, have a look at these, this food and think about the expiry date on all of these items. It is quite long. OK, you could have these things in your cupboard for years, you know, so just keep that in mind. We want fresh whole food, not something that takes years to expire. Let's move along. So I don't think I have to say much here. No, 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 no. And like this stuff has artificial sweeteners as well, so please be mindful. And even uh, I find that soft drink, some soft drink that is not marketed as having artificial sweeteners, they still have artificial sweeteners. Now you can say, what about this one, this Nexpo Sparkling Fusion Drink? Um, I don't know. Let's see if it's got ingredients. Click on it. Does it say more? No. Click to zoom. Uh, I don't, no, no sugar, nothing artificial. Okay. I'm not, not quite sure about this one because I've got to actually see the ingredients. So that's the next thing we check. Add the ingredients. But I'm not really see. Oh, mate, it's got. No, no. No, it doesn't have it. So it would be really handy if they did have the ingredients there. So I'll just go for no for that one. No, no. Well, let's have a look. Sparkling mineral water, yeah, go for your life. It's just water. I actually recommend getting a soda stream if you like soda water rather than, you know, paying a lot of money for heavy bubbles. And if you don't know what heavy bubbles are, Google it. <laughs> And you, you will be amused. I think it's the best ad ever. Um, it's one of the first ads I watched on YouTube and said, oh, my gosh, I need to see more of this ad. It's a freaking awesome ad. Okay, let's keep going. No, 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 no. And you're probably thinking, well, Betty, what about the juice? Okay, let's talk about this juice for a moment. So this is not the fresh juice. This is the juice that's uh, reconstituted, sitting on the shelves um, for who knows how long, uh, don't know country of origin, don't know how it's processed together, just just no, just no, okay. Fibre's been removed, It's uh, so it's quite processed, we, we don't need that, just don't need that. No chips, no soft drink, 
No Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats, but no Kit Kats. Yeah, can I just say Mars bars? I remember as a kid as in high school, we used to buy Mars bars for a dollar back then. And it's just amazing how, and that was a long time ago, amazing how they're still the same price. So, no. And how enticing is this? You know, fingers. These fingers look quite enticing. Half price, dollar fifty. That's so cheap. No. Let's move along. And that's and going back here. This is a this is a big pack, right? This is not a small pack. Two dollars. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I think they're pro no, 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 no. <laughs> All of this. I mean, you know this. You know that this stuff's unhealthy, right? So just don't buy it. It's that simple. Um, I like the I like the um, comment of when you should have it. You should have it not for everybody's birthday, but only for your birthday. In other words, once a year. Um, coffee. Look, I haven't really said much about coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't don't want it. I don't like it. I don't drink it. I like my tea though. I do like my tea, and that does have some caffeine. But try to really limit the amount of coffee because that's, again, adding um, a stimulant to your diet. Interestingly, I did mention once at a, in a workplace setting, they were saying something, about, they were grabbing their morning coffee and I said, oh, yeah, something, something, drugs, something, something. And they were mortally offended. They were mortally offended to that I called their addiction a drug addiction. They were mortally offended. I'm like, but, but it is. Don't. Don't try and deny it. This is just another form of, it's a stimulant. It's a drug. Um, but it's just one that you can buy in a supermarket. You can buy other drugs in supermarkets too. It just happens to be one of them. Uh, no to Milo. Again, processed. And this is probably a, like a similar sort of cheaper version to the Milo drinking chocolate. Well, probably not because Milo is actually enriched with vitamins and minerals doesn't really say much here but it but it is so I could see here low GI source of I zoom in source of protein no well, so celery uh, eight vitamins minerals uh, celery would have so much more okay um so yeah no and if you want tea go for it um, try herbal tea try to transition to more herbal tea okay back to school and straight away we've got the bread be also mindful if you do buy bread for your family, what kind of bread you buy. For what we're doing in the Be Skinny program, the answer is no to bread because, again, it is processed, it is uh, flour, so we're trying to avoid it. No to all of these. Um, Chef AJ has an amazing granola. I think you just need to subscribe to her um, newsletter and she will send it out to you. It is fantastic, so much better than this because – with Chef AJ's recipe, it is whole food, not processed sugar. So this does have sugar. What's this one? Bakery rolls again. No, no, no. Mm, coconut water. I don't know much about coconut water. I would just say if you want coconut water, just... So this is the thing. I have had coconut water from a fresh coconut. And it's very different from by the time the coconuts get to us here in Australia. They're aged. I didn't realise uh, how much they ha they're aged by the time they get here. So it's just not the same. But I, I mean, I would say don't because I'm sure this has calories. Uh, let's just see. Let's go to chronometer and just have a look at coconut water. And we can have it, we can see. Let's add some food. So I don't really use chronometer on a daily basis, but I do use it to look up. So I don't use it for myself. I don't put all my food in there, but I do, um, let's see, coconut water. Fresh liquid from coconut. Well, no, it's uh, not fresh. And it's not from the coconut. It's it's in a Tetra pack. I'm just going to go with... Oh, Ready to drink unsweetened. I think that this will probably be the better. Let's have a look. Add serving. Let's see what happens. Oh, you got a membership. Uh, let's see what happens. And if we go to. So it's got a bit of vitamin C, a bit of manganese. So 
all in all, not very much. And let's look at energy. 44 calories per serving. But what did they say a serving was? One cup. Okay, so if you're going to get something like this, as long as you have one cup, it's about 44 calories a serving. I'll leave that as an optional, but preferences, just have water or infused herbal tea, and I will be showing that in future. Uh, this is an interesting one. Again, got to see what's in it. I prefer no packaged fruit, but if you want something quick, and as long as it's not with sugar, it should be okay. So that's the thing. Just check that it doesn't have sugar and and not all the times, just, you know, very, very rarely, maybe, maybe something like this. Any of these, I would say no. Even you probably say, what about the oats? But here they actually, these are quick oats, so they've been highly processed. And also they're filled with um, sweeteners and and milk additives so although you know it's actually funny uh, with this one because I said to my friend her her kids are pretty lactose intolerant and also gluten intolerant and so she wanted something she's like oh I don't want the bread every morning because it, it does play up with them and I said well you know have you tried oats but you know make sure that they're gluten-free oats but even just oats, even if they're not gluten-free, it's a big difference in having bread. It just it just eases the tummy a little bit. And I said, maybe, maybe try it. Give it a go. And she said, yeah. Anyway, she said, Betty, yeah, we're trying it. We're loving it. That's great. And uh, one of my children slept over her house. And she gave them this. And she said, yep, yeah, I've got the oats. They're nice and healthy. And I'm like, oh, that's got the dairy. It's got everything in it. Oops, not the one. So, yeah, no. Just buy your own oats. And hopefully we'll see them soon. So, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. This is actually not a bad juice. So if you really do want to have a juice, not a bad one, this one. This has got nothing else in it but the juice itself. So n no sugars, no additives. So if you do really want a juice and just a little bit, go for it but remember with the juice fiber's been removed and if you want to feel full you know that's what makes you feel full fiber and water uh, no 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 yes hello okay now we're talking some business do check with the sliced beetroot that it doesn't have sugar, so do check that. I know with a lot of these, they have uh, thickeners and salts, so please just rinse them. But yes, absolutely. So and even if you get the beetroot and it does have sugar, just rinse it, and that should be okay. Even though some was infused, at least you've rinsed most of it. Mm, no. Um, baked beans. Baked beans is an interesting one because and no to the to the, part of the spaghetti, but for the baked beans, it does have a lot of sugar and salt, so just be mindful. And if you buy the one without the the salt added, it just tastes odd. So it, it really does need it. Now now we're getting to the healthy stuff, everybody. No, <laughs> no, no. Well, that's not healthy, but you know they put these two in here, which is really interesting. Next to cheds. Who's putting this together? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no. Oh, actually, no, this is the coconut milk. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Again, I can't see the ingredients. So that would be good if I could see the ingredients. Uh, this almond breeze is fine. It does have a little bit of mineral salt. But uh, as long as you get the unsweetened one. And no. So it's almost like they've gone healthy here and put these... I don't know. And you know what? Uh, I appreciate whoever's done this. It's quite an intelligent person, and I don't think this is by accident. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Maybe it's like the healthy people looking at this and then just throwing those in there for us. So just throw them in there. <laughs> no, no. Uh, pasta. Look, pasta for my family I do, but if you're looking to lose weight, no. Uh, balsamic. Interesting. With this one. I would say these these praise dressings, no. 
have a but have a look at the ingredients. I mean, I'm not going to say flat out no. I'm just just have a look at the ingredients and check to see if there are any sugars, any preservatives, anything. You just want pure vinegar. You don't want anything else added. Vinegar is in itself a it's a it's a preserve. So you know it doesn't it shouldn't need anything else. No sugar especially because that's what's usually added to a vinegar to just take that that acidity out. And make it taste nicer so no instead what you would do in your salad you would add a fruit like for example you chop up an orange or a pineapple or something like that you can add that to your salad to counteract the acidity even though that's quite acidic too but that sweetness counteracts the acidity of the vinegar uh, no 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 not needed no no Again, for children um, and family, look, you know, if, like if your husband's never been overweight, you're gonna what? You're gonna stop him from eating pasta, and when he loves it, no, you're gonna you're gonna get it. But um, there are some other ones. I hopefully they'll have them here. The Veta, um, I get the Veta pasta, and they've got a lot more fiber. So and also Australian made. So I would go for that. No, 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 no. So you can see now, there's not too many things we will be buying. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, possibly. Look, you know, it's a bit of a um, the new the nudie juices are pretty good. So having a little bit every now and then, not not a problem. Now with these vegetarian, look if you look if you want something and you're like I really need something, it's better than a sausage. That's for sure. That is absolutely for sure. But it does have the additives in there, um, like, for example, salts. Okay, it does have salts. So do be mindful of that. And nope to all of that. Okay. Uh, no, no. Oh, I've got to see the ingredients of this. Because wouldn't it be great? It says gluten and preservative free. Vegan, gluten. This could be an option, but I'm sure it may have something like sugar and salt. So if it, I, I don't think it will be salt free. So we want it to be salt free. So no, 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 no. I mean, you see where all this is going. So quite a, a lot of it is food that you can have for a very long time. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Yay. Okay. What's this half a page dedicating to this food? Half a page. Come on. We could do better than that. Oh, we need more. Okay, asparagus, go for it. Pears, lovely. Tomatoes, beautiful. Anything. Okay, what are these? Pistachios. Are they pistachios? Look, nuts and seeds are extremely healthy, but if you're going to buy a packet of pistachios and you're going to eat the lot, then you're not to have them in the house. What you want is something that you can just sprinkle over your salad or your food. That is the level that you want to have seeds and nuts. If you cannot control yourself around nuts where you have to eat that many, then then don't have them. So it really depends on your relationship with nuts and seeds. How do you, how are you with them? Do you, like, will you grab the packet, sit in front of the TV and eat like half a packet or a whole packet? Then if that's you, yeah, no, don't get it. But if you can, you know, just, you know, put a couple over your salad and you're happy with that, that is absolutely beautiful. Go back. I still haven't finished that. No, I haven't finished. It's not letting me go back. It's like, why won't you let me? Why isn't it letting me go back? All right, let's say I'll go forward and I'll try to go back. I go back. Ah, oh, I'd work that time. What's this? Okay, good on you. Chicken pesto? No, no. Ooh. I thought it was I thought it was some sort of nice salad and then this chicken pesto fell for me. Yeah, no. No. No, no, let's skip this page, not needed. So let's go down here and yes and yes. So a couple here, it's your organic berry mix. To be honest, what I prefer to do is get my fresh berries that are sourced locally and then freeze them myself because then I know I've washed them properly and I've taken care of that. So, but look, you know, if you're busy, that, that's certainly an option, although quite expensive. 
and then absolutely with um, frozen veggies. Good to have in the fridge as your backup, absolutely. Then note everything else on the page. Uh, let's see, can you spot anything here that's that's a yes? There's one thing, one thing on this page that's a yes. Can you see it? There you go, mixed berries again. But again, probably best to get the fresh and and um, unless they're locally sourced, these are from Chile. So they've travelled a bit. They have travelled a bit. Okay. Well, now we're going past the food section to the other toiletries, etc. How much is pretty cheap? I got mine a lot more expensive. Should have waited. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And then we're going into that's it. So into big savers. So let's go through and just do a, a shopping haul. Now, one thing I didn't see here is rice, okay, because uh, what Coles and, and, and Woolworths do, they have big bags of rice for sale. So, you know, if you see those for sale, get a bag, get a couple of bags, and that is fantastic. That's what you want to do. But let's do some calculations. I'm just going to bring my spreadsheet up on the other page. Where are you? There we go. And let's start going through this of what we will buy. Okay, so looking at this first page, we said, well, let's get a bigger tea rather than that one. So we're not going to get that. And here we said possibly, but look, it's not really an option, so no. I'm not going to buy sparkling water. I've got a soda stream. Let's move on. I'm not going to get anything on this page. Oh, here you go. All right, so we said we're going to get some tea, so that's $3. Okay. And let, oh, no. Um, they don't even have our oats, just proper plain oats. That's all we want. It's not a lot. It's not here. Almond breeze, I'll throw in an almond breeze there. So, so far I've got, I can make a tea. That's about it. All right. Um, let's just uh, – no, I don't buy these pastas, so I'm not going to put it in there. I'm just going to – I think I'm going to do the next shopping load when I go in. Um, and we said oh, – I'm just – let's just buy a juice just for – let's just buy a juice. We said nothing here, nothing here. All right, let's get, oh my goodness, that's pretty good. Let's get some fresh produce. So we've got asparagus. We have some pears. Now it's a packet, so that, that concerns me to be quite honest because it means that I'm just using more and more plastic. I prefer not to get in packets. I take my own bags with me and I just reuse. I've got bags that I just reuse and reuse and reuse, whether they're you know, previous plastic bags or netted bags from other produce, like, you know, you get um, oranges in big netted bags. I just reuse those. Or I've got special bags that are, you know, for reusing for produce. I'm going to put some of the baby broccoli in there as well. But I need more of that. Well, this is not going to work, is it? Because it's just not enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, there's nothing here. I think I'm done. Okay, so with just the amount, it came to $16.70 that I would spend. And Coles probably already knows this about me because they've got my flybys card, so they know exactly how I shop. So if what else do we need? We need more produce. We need more grains. I haven't seen anything like uh, bean mix or well, let's have a look here if we can shop online. Will it make me sign in? Okay. Now, now we're talking business. So I've got some, so I've got tea, I've got juice, and that's, and some, some produce. I'm just going to say, like, let's just start with the oats. Okay. We just want plain oats, or even if you want to spend on gluten free. So none of these. Here we go. Now we're talking business. A dollar thirty. 
this is for is it 900 grams where is it it's 900 grams a dollar 30 ladies and gentlemen we're, we're done we're done so I don't know I'll just pop that in there so we've got our oats let's get some rice just get some staples in there so let's go rice and it doesn't even matter what kind of rice as long as you cook it yourself so and you know you can get a small packet but I just recommend getting a big large packet let's go they got the big packets I've got two pages of this Where are they? 750. No, no, I want I want like five kilos. There we go. There we go. Jasmine rice. Let's let's look basmati rice. I'm even go, going for the more expensive one. Right? $14 for five kilos. I'm gonna put that in there. And that that would that's longer than a week. That will last you longer than a week. Right? So we've got our rice, we've got our oats. We've got juices, we've got, we've got lots of, okay, so there are our staples. Now let's look at some beans. Let's go lentils. Right, now we're talking business. It's actually very well designed. I'm very impressed. Okay, lentils. You can get them in cans if you want, but check this out. I don't, we want the Australian green lentils. Where are they? Let's go with this one. Australian whole red lentils. What? $3. That's massive. It's a kilo of lentils for $3. That's, that's just, <laughs> we talk, you see where I'm going here. It's so cheap. And, you know, since we're at it, let's just get some more beans. Since we're here, why not? Let's get, um, let's get some other beans. What other beans can we have? Um, red. Oh, let's go navy, uh, navy beans. Navy beans. Oh, beans. So we have our oats, we have some fruit, tea, so we've got drinks, we've got, oh, maybe they're called something else. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, you know what? Add some of these fresh uh, beans. We're talking about beans. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of beans. So let's add some of this. I'm putting 370 some frozen produce in there why not perfect perfect loose butter beans butter beans snow peas I'm going to add them as well why not fresh produce fantastic you can get them in cans now we're going to start seeing all the baked beans but we as I said, a bit of sugar, a bit of salt in there, so we just do want to avoid it. Chickpeas, I'm just going to buy it. Dollar, we're done. So I'm buying some cans in there. Why? I might as well get some pinto beans. So I'm putting some cans in there as well. Looking good. They mung beans. Oh, ah, check that out. Premium mung beans. Let's add it. Three dollars eighty. They're great to sprout. So if you don't want to eat them, you can sprout them. So there's lots to. Yeah. There's brutalotti beans. Ah, white beans. That's what they're calling them. I'm just going to add a, a bag of white beans in there. So I've got my beans. I've got my rice. Now what I need to add to this is some fresh produce. So let's do that. Let's cl clear this and just go for the fruit and veg. And this is just one place to shop. So, and so far with my total of everything that I've added, it's $48. I can walk away just here, but I'm going to add some more fruit and veg just to show you that you can add. Let's add bananas, 450 a kilo. No, let's add a whole kilo. So $4.50 for bananas. We've already had broccoli. Let's add some capsicum. Let's add about four dollars for capsicum. I'm going to add a bit more because these are all loose. Some sweet potatoes. I'm going to put four dollars a kilo of sweet potatoes, and we've added tomatoes as well. I want to avoid avocados for a couple of reasons. 
Let's add some apples. I'll just add a packet of Granny Smith, 5.5. Let's add half a kilo of cucumbers. Let's put it as $4. Let's add a kilo of oranges. I mean, this is a lot of food. So let's go 3.5. And of course, we want some onions. So let's just do a kilo of onions. Let's do 2.9. And you know what? There we go. So that's just giving you an example. Ooh, a box of fruit and veg. What have they got here? Oh, there you go. Making life easy. Thank you, Coles. You know what? Just get a box. You're done. 40 bucks or even 22. There you go. Vegetable box, combo fruit and veg. Fruit and veg medium, 25 bucks. Look at all of that. Add, you've got your rice, you've got your oats, you've got your beans. You are done. That's all you need. So let me just do that. That's fantastic. So I'm going to add here. Oh, it's telling me to lot. No, I'm not going to sign up for it. Sorry. But there you go. So I'm just going to. So let's just look at how much I've got total. So that's under $100, including a box. So full produce, it's going to last a long time. So that's just to show you that you can eat, and even at Coles, so you don't have to sort of go shopping around everywhere. I'm going to also do one on Woolworths and Aldi. Personally, I shop everywhere, so I'm not committed to one particular supermarket. I appreciate that, you know, they're all trying really hard and, you know, and, and I'm very grateful for Coles and Woolworths for getting rid of the plastic. Uh, LD has always kind of been, you know, have your own bag policy. So they, they, they've always done that. So I, I appreciate that. And I'm actually, I'm surprised with the some of the smaller independents, how they haven't sort of started the movement. I would expect that from the independents, some, you know, premium independent stores out there that are just giving out plastic, like, you know, and people are just accepting it. You would think that they would say, no, it's okay, we're sorted, we're, we're, we're beyond that now. But they're just accepting it and I'm just, I won't even say which supermarket. But um, it's just, it's astounding that people feel, you know, it's their privilege to have plastic and just, I don't know. Anyway, so good shopping haul here. I think what I will do is create a, an account and take you through a shopping haul next time. But just to show you that the catalogue, is mostly oh hey I've got where's my catalogue gone the catalogue is mostly just your specials and you'll find that a lot of your specials are not foods that we specifically should be having you know so you can see out of all of it most of it was no and in fact when you go to a supermarket you'll be focusing on just a few aisles and that's what we're after focusing on those aisles with the food that is full of nutrition and uh, not calorie rich and nutrient not rich foods. <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this uh, virtual shopping trip with me. I think what we'll do next time is actually log in and actually do a proper shopping trip with Coles Online and Woolworths Online just to show you how easy it is and look at their mechanisms for picking up so then you don't have to go in and be enticed by the, the you know specials like this because I tell you what this used to get me I'd be like it's half price I need to buy this for my family no you don't Betty you don't <laughs> so stay away from all of that and give yourself and your family really good foods thank you so much and Betty Petit signing out